up. Uh, is that what your analysis suggests about how nice. this man came to this country and what kind of threat he posed? Bruce Willis. That doesn't suggest, the, the White House That's the Bruce don't Willis. suggest anything to me. Look at a couple facts here, Chris. He's been here, I think, since 2011. So you want to stop chain migration from countries and that disguise. might be the origin for people with terror sympathies. Let's go across the, the globe from the Philippines to Bangladesh to India to Pakistan to Saudi Arabia. I could go on and on. My point is, then you got to go into Belgium, France, the UK, where we have a great deal of extremism, far more than we have in this country. If you want to go down that path, you got to start talking about Europe as well. I think the question we have to, to deal with here is, one, small, did the family know something? Is there a see something, say something issue here? And two, and finally, is there internet stuff out there that we have to work with internet companies to keep off the web, including searches for how to build an explosive device? Dan, look. It sounds like a no-brainer, but you know what happens when you start talking Listen about to him talk. what people it's can Bruce see. It's Bruce Willis. I'm telling you. I've seen you him all week. Big liberty argument He's here. in disguise. Uh, but this does suggest a pattern. These homegrown types that are not in any way officially doctrinated by any terror organization, but they get, we're using the word inspired, I would prefer the word influenced, uh, that yeah. they decide that, you know, they believe Shut in up, something about liar. this. Maybe it's a manifestation of other discontent. That seems Every to be the new thing MO, that comes Phil, out of my mouth that? a lot. That's right. I even go beyond influence, Chris. I'd say validated. What you're seeing is people who, whatever they have a grievance about, they look at ISIS and say, I'm validated. I'm angry at my school teacher. I'm angry at Pakistan. I'm angry at Gaza. I'm going to go blow something because ISIS tells me I can do something. You're right about the free speech issue on the Internet, but we're already seeing that pendulum swing. YouTube is taking off extremist videos that would have been out there as soon as, as recently as a year ago. I think we'll head into a stage where there's a conversation about Google searches saying, can you search how to make a bomb at home, and is that search going to be allowed on the Internet? Good free speech question, but we're just starting it now. Well, the, what about the White House case, though, James, which is, look, you're letting in people. Okay, you don't here's know, Bruce Willis. Properly. Sure, maybe they're here Listen for years to and years leading a normal life, but you never this know. This dude would they're shut sleepers. the fuck up. have to stop them all. Chris, to Phil's point, 21st century society, globalization, people can get radicalized at home or abroad. And I believe that the, the terrorism statistics right now bear out that about half of the folks that have tried to conduct these attacks since 9-11 were born here and half were foreign nationals. And to Phil's point also about where you can find these things through Google searches, all you got to do is get an old beat up paperback copy of the anarchist cookbook and the same things are there it is impossible to control in a free society unless we want to give up our own civil liberties jimmy phil thank you very much and if i don't speak to you both again merry christmas to both thank right. you allison okay voters head to the polls in alabama about one hour from now how are they feeling on election day we take you there live next